Hi, I'm Gary M0TIG here at Martin Lynch & Sons Radio Store and today I've got something really interesting to show you. Now if you've got, if you're lucky enough to have one of these which is a, a 9700 or for that matter something like an 847 or something like that um, you're going to get at some point you're going to want to play with satellites. Now the traditional way to go <laughs> is with a big rotator like but this is the bottom of one, which would normally have a big head on the top. You'd have a big crossbar, a couple of Yagis, a, a controller, which you can access from a rear port around the back, um, normally with an external uh, control socket. You would then have an interface, which would then connect to your computer. And then you could actually then control the whole setup with, with a computer via something like HRD or something like that, or sat track or, or whatever. But there is an alternative because this is quite big, quite expensive, and you know your neighbours may not appreciate having a big Yagi set up in your back garden. But there is an alternative, and it's one of these, so just bear with me. In blue tea pizza fashion, this is an egg beater antenna. Now this is the 70 Sems version of it. This is quite small, and behind me, just there you can just see, that's the two metre version. And what these do, you have one either side on the, on the actual uh, mast itself. Uh, you can then listen and transmit on, say, 2 metres and 70 sems, connected straight to the back of the radio. So let me get rid of that. So what you need to do is you need to connect the 2 metre antenna um, to this port here. So I'll show it to the camera there, just there. And then take another feeder and take it to the 70 sems port. Once you've done that, you can then utilise all the features that the 97 has for doing the Doppler shift on the satellites. So you can then do full duplex, if you like, or whatever this will actually do, using the 70 SEMS and the 2 metre um, egg beater antennas, instead of having a whole Yagi array and all of this sort of stuff. So you're going to be saving some money, plus it's not going to look quite as overwhelming for your neighbours. However, it's not going to beat the, the full sort of Yagi system, but it will at least get you started. Now, I have actually worked, at, James and I, um, we, we worked the ISS space station, and that was really, really good fun, really, really interesting from this very setup, actually in my garden. So um, let's have a quick, close look at the actual uh, setup itself. So we'll nip over there now. Okay, so let's um, put the M2 antenna systems um, antenna together. What I've done with this, um, you can just see in there, I've, I've assembled all this together. All of this comes in the kit and is really, really, the instructions are really, really good and it's really easy to put together. All basic, all the tools are supplied apart from the spanner just to put it together. And what I found was that when you put this um, together there, it's best just to put the end type plug on that you're going to use because you can see that it's actually reasonably tight that hole and that just helps just keep that located. What you don't want is for this to go up on top of your roof and then all this to be tight and not be able to get your um, antenna connector in. So what I'm going to do is, very simple, you can see what I've done here, This that one's actually done and pretty much ready to go. Um, it's a simple case of, as, as with any antenna, is just to put it together as per the instructions. So let's whip that one together. Now I found it was easier just to do this at ground level, um, just in the, the initial sort of setup. So if you've got one of these tripods or if you're going to take this portable, it's, it's a really, really good fun sort of project to take portable. You can use one of these sort of lighting brackets. Now also on there, I've actually put it on upside down before all the comments come flooded in so that uh, Henry can actually see what that is. This is a, a preamp. Um, so some people might like to use a preamp. I've seen lots of videos of these actual antennas and people are wiring the preamps in. We keep those in stock also if that's what you need. So in the, um, in the kit, it comes with, like I say, everything you're going to need. You're going to get a couple of Allen keys in there as well. And what these are for, there's two sizes of Allen key um, you're going to need. This one is the larger out of the two. And then you'll get some, basically some copper wire in a tube, which you've got to pull out and sort of basically make a nice uh, curve. So what we're going to do here 
is that threads just through the top there I can see just like so and you're going to take one end and that pushes in like so and then this end pushes in there like so and you're just going to push them up until they, you can just see the other end come through the hole I'm not going to worry about it too much this is uh, just for this demonstration and you just want to nip these up they don't need to be hugely tight just enough so that they pinch the the cable in there or the actual uh, the, the copper wire there you go that'll do and these are all pre-tuned as well and I, they're actually amazingly um, well tuned and um, we didn't do, have to do anything else to them at all so anyway that's it so that's pretty much it the um, the antenna system is pretty much ready to go out of the um, out of the pack you just need to assemble all the pieces as per the instructions this one here is a little bit interesting in that it needs the spacer put in first um, and then the actual uh, base is is down the bottom and it is a little bit of a a confusing part there's not very much detail about this in the instructions how this is goes together however again if you're putting this together and you've got any questions do ask it's you know we're more than happy to help um, but as you can see it's uh, it's really really brilliant it's a fairly low profile thing although it looks uh, pretty big on the ground it's uh, up in the air it actually looks quite small it is fairly low profile and fairly wind resistant I'm going to put a little bit of footage at the end of this of, um, of James actually contacting ISS with this very, very setup at, at this height in my garden. So enjoy. It's only short, but nonetheless, it, we, it was good fun to do. Hopefully this has been informative and you've uh, seen the advantages of sort of something as simple as an egg beater antenna system. Um, if you want to give the sales team a call on 0345 uh, or email sales at hamradio.co.uk, the sales guys will be really, really happy to help you. Um, and if you've got any questions, don't forget you can always send an email over to support at hamradio.co.uk. So thanks for watching and see you next time.